All right, guys, welcome back. So we have this new project, this old golf cart. I've been doing lots of research on it, found out a ton about it. We got it unloaded off the trailer. We decided now, this late Saturday night, to play around with it. I've got a ton of ideas. I've got a ton of things I want to do to it. First, we're going to make sure this thing even runs. We don't know. It got rolled, it's been sitting for years. Now let's see if we can get this thing running. big tree that grew up through the engine. I'm going to rip this out, but I want to be very careful because we got fuel lines, we got spark plugs, we got all these wiring, and I don't want to rip anything out of there that's, that's not supposed to come out. But we're not going to be able to drive this or even get this running until we get this tree root out here. So let's get this pulled out. Well, that's out. Now, I think we can lower the cart and throw some power to it. Let's see if we can get this seat to start. Okay, let's get this seat floor off. Looks like the uh, negative battery cable is completely corroded off. Positive is pretty corroded. I think what I'll do is just cut this. on, which we don't even know if this is the right key. So you don't even, oh. It's supposed to start. Nothing. Womp, womp, womp. Oh. Oh! Did you see that? It's drying. Maybe we ought to check the oil first before we go blowing something up. I don't even know how you check the oil. Black. There's oil in it. It's black, but there is oil in it, so. The fuel, on the other hand, not sure how good that is. All right, let's try this again. Let's crank that charger up a little bit. Now we're running 10 amps at 12 volt. We're gonna go to 25 amps. And if it takes off, look out. It's trying. That was close. You know what? I want to try some starting fluid. Oh, it's firing. It was firing. It started to. Going to Maverick, just starting fluid for a golf cart. Well, it's midnight, and we're gonna run a Maverick. They may have some starting fluid. They need starting fluid. The local part stores are closed. Everybody's closed except for Maverick. So that's where we're headed. Four guys going to Maverick, just starting fluid for a golf cart. Dude, look, they got starting fluid. Dollars and thirty cents, but at midnight, I mean, I'm happy because now we can try to start a golf cart. So let's go empty our wallets and get back to the shop. We got our hundred dollar can of starting fluid. We're gonna see if this thing will start. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's over my boot. Is it? Yeah. Well, well, pull your foot out then. I tried. You gotta push it forward. Don't <laughs> push it back. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was funny. <laughs> well, it fired up. <laughs> that was quick. That's not the first vehicle I've almost drove through the toolbox. The 86 Chevy. 
Um, I did this too. I went to start it up when we did the body lift. It kinked the, the linkage to the shifter and it almost went through the toolbox. You missed it. I know, you guys can wait for me. It just went, almost went through the toolbox and ran through oh. the toolbox. So, it runs. <laughs> At least. Okay, now let's put it back on the lift. Okay. We got it on the lift now so it doesn't drive off. I want to see this thing run. I want to see how fast we get those tires going. So, ready? So, I think we uh, get on eBay and Amazon and start ordering some stuff for this thing. And uh, maybe we can take this for a spin. Alright, so we got the headlights in. Check these things out. And I don't know how it's possible. Wiring harness, headlights, whole kit, tail lights, 100 bucks off Amazon. We've got to put this pattern on here. That sits, you just follow the contour of the body, I guess. And then you tape it on, mark it, and then cut it out. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're hoping that they, uh, hoping they fit up really well when we're all done. Only got one chance though. One chance. If we screw this up, I don't have another front end. It's about golf cars, so I have to buy another one. Go for it. Take your glasses on. We gotta hurry and drill some holes in these corners. Let's see if it fits. I'm gonna have to trim it out a little bit. But, look at that. Looks cool. Okay, we'll file this one in a little bit, get it to fit a little tighter, and uh, we'll do the other one. So, let's get to it. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh man, look at that. So much different. I think we should connect these up and uh, see how bright they are. What do you think? Think we should, why? Yeah. Why ain't saying yes? So let's do it. Let's find the switch. Is it gonna work? Ready? How's it look? Oh man. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? So we've got this second car, which, check this out. Brand new clutch. Brand new clutch was put in this right before we bought it. So, Dax and Andy pulled the engine, got it loose to where we can pull the clutch out of it. This car is basically just spare parts. So anything we can use off this for our other one, we're gonna do it. So, let's get this exhaust pulled off, engine moved sideways, and get this clutch out. Okay. So what we've determined is we were thinking that we had to pull this off, this off, this off. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never worked on golf carts. Check this out. That's a tapered shaft. Once we started smacking that around, this came right off. So we don't need the room that we thought we would need to slide all this off. Let's go get this body pulled off. So what we're going to do is not only are we going to put the clutch on this one, we're going to unbolt this body, get it off, and get ready for the new body. So, a lot of these screws are stripped out out front here for the forward and reverse. I'm just going to hurry and drill them out. We'll put new screws in it. And then once we get the body off, we'll be able to get to the clutch a lot easier. Let's get this drilled out and start disassembling the clutch.
Okay, bolts are all drilled out. Let's see if we can get this body off. Oh, look at that. There's the first time that we've seen that part of the oh, knocking things over. But now, there's our frame. Our cart is a complete frame. I think we should probably pressure wash this thing now that we've got it all apart. Look what I found. Check this out. Holy cow. We just got three pair of pliers. That was just sitting right down in there next to the gas tank. So that's a bonus. Throw a little WD-40 on there. We got ourselves some pliers. So. There you go, Wayne's doing some working out with the shocks. <laughs> one pound curls, <laughs> one pound curls, <laughs> one pound curls. So we got the clutch put back in, the belt put on, uh, the starter belt's tight. We had to switch that pulley like I was talking about before. So we had to go to the smaller pulley. Let's see if this thing runs. We'll uh, get this backed out of the shop, get it pressure washed off and get ready for the body to put back on. All right, well, we got the cart running. Um, I drove it out with no seat, which is a pain in the butt, but we got clutches done. We moved the exhaust up this morning. Look how much better that exhaust looks up instead of clear down there. And now I'm just gonna pressure wash it, get all the dirt off of everything and get it ready for the body. So let's hope they get the body done with the next couple days. We'll slap it back on. Oh, check this out. We got new cup holders put on. We got the pedals off the other one put on so you can actually read them. Man, this thing's gonna be great. So let's get it washed. So we're here at Hank Signs. Bodie and Randy got the body all done. Look how good that looks. That thing pops. You put a plastic film over top of this to keep it from getting scratched. But look at that. So we're gonna load it up in the truck, get it back to the shop, get this thing put together. We got a parade tomorrow, but I really wanna see what this looks like in the sun because these guys killed it. I mean. Look at this. So if you're ever in the Payson area, Santa Cruz area, Utah County area, anywhere, look up Hank Signs. They nailed it for us. So let's get this loaded up in the truck. Look how good that looks. That thing pops. I'm excited to see it on the car. I'm 
this to look like this, huh? Okay, let's uh in the front. All right, so it is 1.30 a.m., night before the parade. And check out the Do It Bro golf cart. Look at that. So we've got the cellophane that's on there to keep it from getting scratched. Wayne's gonna pull that off. Look at that. Get the headlights in. Got the Do It Bro emblem on the hood. Oh, the little mini Do It Bro emblem on the grill. Bodie Hanks nailed this thing, man. Wayne's getting past the top of headlights. He's been dying to do that for a month now. Look at that part. So, eventually we'll put a roof on it, but right now we're just going to kind of enjoy how it is. That thing is sweet, right? Go put the seat on it. Um, we didn't film a lot of what we were doing because, like I said, it's late. We want to get it done. So, didn't have a camera guy here. So, we just slammed it together. Put all the screws in it. Eventually, we'll get the seat tree done and get the roof on it. Because here goes the finishing touch right here. So you're going to put the seat on. The seat don't have holes. It's not the nicest thing ever. Oh. Check that. Check it. Oh, you can see some red behind the seat. Okay. He gave us extra. Yeah, he yeah. gave us some extra. So. Okay. Okay. Fire it up. Is there anything underneath the wheels? Kick those headlights on, man. Let's check it out. Don't hit your head on the door. First drive of the golf cart with the new rack and headlights. Hopefully Wayne doesn't crash into the other one. Look at that. That thing is so nice. By the way, that cart has never had headlights or tail lights in it. Uh, put those in it because we won't be able to drive it at night. So let's go uh, take it for a test drive and then uh, get up in a few hours and go to a parade. Get it on out of here, boys. <laughs>